Let's go inside for now. Welcome to the gym I built. So you may be thinking, Sumio, you own a sauna. And you own... <laughs> you own a karaoke bar. You own a shitty kitchen. I've also built a gym. Also known as... I have told somebody... To make... <laughs> To draw an anime gym for me. So, uh... Welcome to my base of operations. <laughs> welcome to my base of operations for, uh... For, uh, you know, the, the new times, I guess. Now, here's the thing, though. My my fucking team, my fucking OST is not done yet! So, uh, let's see here. Uh, what would work right now? Uh, I, I want to do, like, Gil's team, but that will get me fucking banned on Twitch. I think I'll do it anyway. If it loads, at least. Come on! <laughs> there it is. Yeah, that'll work. <laughs> Minus circuit from Smash? Now hold on a second, it's... <laughs> the gold badge. That's the actually is a gold badge in uh, Pokemon. <laughs> so... The story so far, right? So, about a month ago... For Christmas, I got this Moneki doll right here. Either from Santa Claus or from Withered, because, well, it came from Japan. Here's the problem, though. This Moneki doll was possessed. It was possessed. This little piggy bank had a 1,000-year-old ancient lightning spirit in it. And, so far, it has proven itself to be a very powerful fighter. So, the thing is that, like, for this past few months, I've worked for the Luchador model. And what started off as just, like, an idea for a summer model, also known as Sumio El Magnifico, it eventually got out of control. And I got... Sumio basically got possessed by this lightning spirit. And now, both he and him are trapped on, on, on Antarctica together, in the same body. But at least the Lightning Spirit is no longer trapped in a statue. Now he's trapped inside a body that he doesn't want to be in. So... For now... The story goes that the Lightning Spirit asked him, Who are you and where are we? And Sumio being Sumio responded, Well, I am the Grace of Antarctica. And... The Lightning Spirit responded, and are you the greatest fighter in Antarctica as well? And the spirit himself believes that he's in hell. Because Antarctica was discovered in the 1800s. He never knew that this place existed in the South Pole. So basically these two are stuck together in a frozen hellscape. But hey, at least they have each other. And the lightning spirit then asked, But are you the greatest fighter in Antarctica as well? And Sumio said, of course I am. Here's a problem, though. Can Sumio prove it? Because he's currently possessed by the greatest fighter in the world. So, the v model that has been made in preparation is not one, but two. The first one is the original one. The one that I have made so long ago that is basically Sumio El Magnifico. It's a reality. And is the one, the only, Luchador VTuber. It is a VTuber that is basically still me, but denies that he's Sumio. Because what else happened is that Sumio tried to blow up the South Pole. But he then realized something. The South Pole is much harder to destroy than the North Pole. Because it's a giant slab of land instead of a tiny piece of ice. So... Sumio's bounty of being an eco-terrorist pretty much doubled. So that means that he's currently on a most wanted list. And that is why he's currently wearing a mask. And <laughs> let you say that uh, I'm going to deny being Sumio, okay? You can call me Sumio, sure. But, uh, you know, uh, uh, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm called under a different name, you know? <laughs> if you're wondering, wow, aren't you buff Sumio? Nope, that's what I get for being possessed by, by a Japanese god of lightning. The lightning spirit himself is, of course... Also a character. And he is, well, a bit tougher. 
The upgrade here is Maneki Mask. The Japanese lightning god himself, an absolute boomer, and yet the greatest fighter in the entire world. However, he's a little bit behind. He doesn't know much, he doesn't know anything about video games, all he knows is that he's undefeatable. Mainly due to the fact that he has sappy hands, and it's very hard to lose against somebody that has, has electricity charged fists if you don't wear full rubber. So of course, Maneki Mask is the second personality. It's two personalities in one. The first one is Sumio, the second one is Maneki. And Maneki himself is a completely different personality. He's a different soul in the same body. And it's basically inspired by not only uh, Dolores, which is Luna's alter ego basically, but it's also inspired by a lot of anime that have the main character usually have a superpower form. And yes, this is also a model that can go Super Saiyan, but <laughs> this Super Saiyan model himself, he um, he's a superpower alter ego. So just like Yami Yugi from Yu-Gi-Oh! He's a completely different personality. It's inspired by a lot of alter egos in VTubers. And the thing here is that Maneki himself is a completely opposite personality of Sumio. So while Sumio himself is a very chaotic individual that will deny being Sumio, so basically um, Sumio El Magnifico will be like, I don't like gold, I don't like cats, I don't like destruction, <laughs> I'm, I'm not Ted Antarctica, I, I'm from Minnesota, man. Maneki here is a little bit more truthful. Let me just say that Maneki here has um, a bit more serious sense of style, and let's say that he's a bit more on the rougher side. So he will take things more serious, he's probably a little less comedic, but uh, at least he has much more noble intentions than Sumio. And while Sumio denies that he doesn't like gold at all, that he doesn't like snow or ice, that he doesn't like explosions, Maneki over here, being a golden cat, he likes golden cats. So... The reference to me is Maneki's personality. <laughs> and maybe, maybe. So uh, Maneki himself, that's a lot of prepare for. So there's the idea here. And I prepared a lot for this. It has also been in production for a very long time. And the amount of money I spent on this entire project has been to absurd degrees. But it's all ready. It's all ready. Both the model, the rigging, the stage, the intro, it's all ready except for the music, but I'm gonna be like, fuck this. And here's the thing about these two personalities, right? So while one of them is still little brother Sumio, the other one is the older brother Maneki. And the chat has a power to swap masks and to swap personality. So the power here is a chat with 1000 gold can summon either Maneki or Sumio, depending on who is most favorable in this situation. So for example, let's say that we have a game and we encounter a boss fight. Now, who would be better to take into this boss fight? Somebody that, somebody that is a god-tier fighter that takes everything completely serious and is a huge sweater? Or somebody that just likes to joke around and likes to pretend that nothing is going wrong? So... Who knows? There might be a Dark Souls uh, stream coming up, you know? <laughs> so depending on chat, the personality of the streamer will completely change. It will either be the dead serious, but yet honest, Sumio, uh, uh, Maneki, or it will be the chaotic, very deniable, and all-around clown Sumio himself. The little brother and the big brother. The problem is that Maneki is a completely different personality. He's basically a super-powered alter ego, inspired by a lot of other alter egos. And there's still a lot of work for me to prepare for this debut, especially because Maneki is going to get a voice changer. Maneki is going to get a slight modification. He will get a little bit of a deeper voice. He will also have a slower voice. And although I've been practicing for it for a long time, I'm still not satisfied with the results. That I am not. So, we'll get there when we get there. That's the idea. And that's what's all planned and what's all prepared. It's all ready. So, uh, 
It's also inspired by both uh, Lucha Libre of both Mexico and Japan. So, Sumio El Magnifico is of course inspired by the Mexican Lucha Libres. It's basically a Mexican luchador, while Maneki is inspired by the Japanese luchadors. That's the whole design behind these two. So... Number one and number two. Now here's the thing though, there is a third VTuber model. Huh? Hmm? Oh, my sister is here, she's going to bed, alright. So, there's a third personality. And this third personality, this third version, is a huge easter egg. This third person is the one in which the mask comes off. There's only very, very few ways for the mask to come off. If you're a luchador, only way for your mask to come off is if you are both defeated and humiliated. There's a few ways in which the mask can come off this model. And if it does, you will see the face that's beneath the mask. Because my artist and my rigger both put a shit ton of effort into the face beneath the mask. But to pull it off, you, chat, it's a rough one. Either you can donate 555... No! Either you donate 55,000 and 555... Fuck, man! 555,555 gold, Jesus Christ, to pull the mask off, or you join me in an online game and you not only defeat me, but you completely crush me. Those are the only two ways in which you can remove the mask. And if you remove the mask, you will also unlock a third personality. And this third personality is also the only one that has, well, eyes and hair. You'll see what I mean. <laughs> so it's three feet of models in one. It's the unmasked, then Sumio, and finally Maneki. So if anyone's able to completely and utterly defeat me in any game, then the mask will come off. Or, if you redeem 555,555 gold. Or, well, there should be like another option, like, like for, for example, if you, if you like give like, 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 like 10 gift subs or something, then I guess something like that, like, I don't know. But basically, the easter egg here is the, that the mask can come off. So... Any game or games you own? <laughs> we'll see about that, we'll see about that. So, uh, chat, here's a challenge though. Can you unmask? Can you unmask the greatest gamer and the greatest fighter in Antarctica? What if I give 90 subs? Well, th 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 then the mask will come off. It's that simple. So then, chat. Can you defeat the Luchador VTuber? Oh, actually, no. Can you defeat the Super Saiyan VTuber? Or can you the Martial Arts VTuber? The Golden Cat VTuber? Uh, the, uh, the Cat VTuber, but not really? Or the Masked VTuber? I don't know. Either way. Thank you whoever gifted this Maneki doll to me. It's possessed. And there's a fucking spirit in it. If we play in isolation, then, then, then the mask comes off for the whole fucking playthrough. Are you kidding me? Holy fuck, man. Unless you want to summon Maneki for that, and Maneki will take the whole game super serious. Because if he does, then he will crush it. So then. Chat, you have the ability to control... My three personalities and my three VTuber models. It's all up to you. And I've prepared a lot for this. I've prepared a lot for it. I have practiced a lot for it. And um, almost everything is ready. And if things stand for now, since I'll be very busy on Monday and Tuesday, and uh, Luna has her birthday coming up, and Nixie has his redebut coming up, I think that the redebut is going to be planned for January 15th. And the first schedule for Maneki Mask is also ready. We're going to be playing... I mean, you, 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 you should also decide what personalities you want to see during a horror game stream. Because Maneki is afraid of nothing. Well, Sumio, well, uh, 
So um, it's going to be planned for January 15. And in the meantime, I will still have some streams on Discord. I will still have uh, Fallout on Discord and Ace Journey and Left 4 Dead 2. But other than that, the next Twitch stream, January 15, one week from now, the redebut, the rebrand, and the full appearance of my Neki Mask. My next feature model, and the one that I'm very, very excited for. If you're wondering, Sumio, will you, re will you return to Smash Bros. streams or Spanish learning streams? Uh, will you return to... Well, yes, actually. There's a lot of things that I can do now with this amazing feature model. <laughs> we should put it to the test. It depends. If, if, you, if you trigger Maneki for a horror game, huh, bring it on. I fear nothing. So... That's it, really. Which means I have one more question for you. And that's a poll right here. And that's a poll that I'm going to make real quick here. Can I share your video I would like to describe as foreshadowing? Sure. Because I've done a lot of foreshadowing so far. But that thing. So. Let's do a little poll right here. Either we will end the stream here, but before I end the stream, I want to show you my new intro screen. Or we want to do one more round of Gothic Phone. And then the challenge here is good luck drawing my next VTuber model. The Santa memes are over, but they will continue. <laughs> With the redeem Hades, uh, he linked it without the redeem, so that means I won't show it on stream, but I still wanna wanna see the link. Let me see here. What was the foreshadowing? <laughs> correct, correct. Yeah, correct, Hades. Back in May 11th, that's when it all started. So either we're gonna end it here, and I wanna show you my intro screen for well for the rest really because the intro screen wow or i want to do one more round of gothic phone and then i want to see you guys interpretation of uh, of the facts so then that's it going forwards three personalities three feet of feet of models and uh i already have everything planned of what i want to do here because the fun part here is the amount of originality this all unlocks. It all unlocks <laughs> how you approach certain streams, doesn't it? Fighting streams, horror game streams, challenging streams. If you're wondering about if you're wondering about, wondering about cooking streams, uh, uh, I don't have a luchador mask IRL, so it's not gonna happen. I think. Well, I get a horror luchador mask, so. <laughs> <laughs> 